Intrigarat mga intrigarat, gusto talaga man naman yung love life ko Ayun lang nga, pangit ko lang Hindi decided to find out this stuff Second set of questions. We um, focused on my personal, personal life. More onto my dad. Because my friends go intrigera. Intrigera, mga intrigera. Gusto talaga mo sa mga mga gusto gusto niyo kung paano din ang air conditioner at the fan given it. Yes, but of course, what makes the world go round? It's love. Let's proceed. Alright, going to the first question about myself. This question comes from my very own coach, Coach Malay Baliasa, with her asking me, Are you single? Are you single? Am I single? Am I single? Single. Am I single? No, I guess. <laughs> no, it's complicated. But I guess I'm not single right now. Yes, I'm in a relationship. Alam mo naman yung sagot sa tanong, itatanong ko talaga kung single ako yun. Hindi ako single coach. Okay na? Say na? Hmm? Alam? Second question. Gaano ka kadalas ma-fall? Falling in love? I guess I learned my lessons. Marupok ako. Marupok tayong lahat ng mga kapsiri. We have that marupok person in each of us. Wag mo hindi din ay lahat tayo marupo in different levels. Next question. Who is your past relationship? Who is your past relationship? Most recent. Who is your past relationship? I don't want to make it to me. Sorry, it's complicated, I guess. Masa hindi niya? Masa hindi? 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 Love is not really easily learned. Although it's really given away, but it's not easy to learn, and you cannot force people to love you. Hindi ka talaga nila mahal. That's one lesson that I learned on my past relationship. Okay, na. That question came from Kuya Gilbert Pala. So the next question natin is. Galing sa is is uh, one of the most intriguing questions that I have received. Kasi first of all, ayaw yung mag-mention na sa kanya galing yung tanong. Second, sabi ko sa kanya hindi na ako pwede mag-drop names kasi may name siyang sinig dun sa question niya. And I think alam naman talaga niya yung sagot sa tanong na to. Gusto niya naman talaga ng confirmation galing sa akin. And this fact is known by most people as well. So yung tanong is from one of uh, my advisors in college and the question goes this way Are you ni? Well, my answer technically would be a yes I believe Technically, I believe Because 
omong siya it was a mutual agreement may label pero fortunately it's my first relationship and it was quite traumatic traumatic pero may kong lessons na nalearn mula sa kanya mula sa amin and in a way thankful na thankful ako sa kanya kasi kung hindi dahil sa kanya hindi na widen yung concept ko about love and that um kung hindi dahil sa kanya I would not be able to understand myself better than uh, what I had known myself for or of before. Next question is, anong song mo kay X? Sing a few lines please from a very good friend of mine, Mr. Chance Sampat. Ano nga bang song yung i-dead, i i Ano nga bang song ang pwede kong i-dedicate sa ex ko? Unang, sorry, hindi ako, hindi ako summer. Okay na, ganyan kayo. I wondered what would be the best song that would fit if I'm gonna dedicate something to someone that I don't want to really remember anymore. And ultimately, nakahanap yung kanta. You song lines goes this way. In Carlos part na kasi very much relatable something that they would like to tell my ex I guess and here it goes cause you made me stronger <laughs> cause you made me stronger by breaking my heart cause you made me stronger by breaking my heart you mended my life and made a better my heart you taught me everything from falling in love to letting go of my life. Yes, you made me strong, you got a favorite by singing goodbye. One sound. Puro kayo X. Yung mga tanong niyo, puro kayo X. X, anong song kay X? Sagi kayo ba? Ito tayo gusto ko naman na tanongin niya ako ng kung ano-ano. Let's proceed to the next question. This is from... One of my besties, Miss Syra Hilario, with her asking me, "Anong message mo sa ex mo?" First of all, si nung ex. Si nung ex. Kundo, kundo. If we're still referring to the same person, no topic na to. Message ko sa kanya. Ang masasabi ko lang sa kanya, I have already given myself the closure that I was looking for since hindi ko naman yun nakita sa iyo so ako na yung nabigay sa sarili ko ng closure matagal na ako nag-move on matagal na nabigit ang pinatawad no more hatred whatsoever at kung ano man gusto mong gawin mo sa buhay mo then so be it I'm happy to know that you're with someone else who's really making who I guess made you happier than I but sometimes your best will not always be enough. This is something I guess that I learned as well. Na masyado kong naging trying hard. Masyado kong tinubukan na maging enough. When all that time, enough naman talaga ako. It's, and eventually forgetting na I should learn to love myself first before I would be able to love other people. And that I should treat myself the way I would, I should treat other people the way that I would want them to treat me. And, and to add, I wish you all the best in life. Kahit na hindi ganun kaganda yung ending ng story natin, but in a way I'm still thankful for you for being part of or being a way for me to learn those lessons na hindi ko matutunan sa school or in any books or from anybody else and next question from my pinsan ganun sa pinsan ko Miss Loving Rivera ano daw ang huli kong sinabi sa ex ko? ang huli kong sinabi sa ex ko? My most memorable statement in there would be, or my, end, my ending statement as well as that, wala akong ginawang masama sa'yo. 